So the problem uh, of Greece was that basically what we know now is uh, uh, they actually uh, falsified their budget data for numerous years and they painted a better picture of their economy than it really was. Now this is not uh, really a one-off situation. This also happened in recent years in Argentina where uh, we saw the government statistical uh, agency falsifying inflation numbers. And this uh, was done for a purpose because then uh, the government didn't have to pay higher wages on uh, uh, pub the public sector for retirement pensions uh, or it does, didn't have to pay higher interest on uh, indexed bonds. A different case uh, is China where many people believe the government GDP numbers are cooked. Uh, in fact, even one very highly ranked uh, Chinese official said, you know, uh, if I really want to get uh, uh, a good feeling about the economic activity, I look at uh, energy consumption or railway freight. Now, there are suspicions. It hasn't been proved for a very developed country as of yet, but there are various suspicions, glitches in the data. For example, the Germany misreported uh, senior uh, citizens' unemployment numbers uh, last year. Uh, there were eyebrows raised when the U.S. government uh, uh, agencies uh, reported high, uh, very good uh, uh, GDP numbers, which were later on, after a while, revised down uh, consecutively uh, in the last few years. Uh, very often, these are not only uh, really uh, with, with situations where uh, agencies cheat. This is maybe there may be changes in the methodologies. There may be statistical error. These are numbers are generated by surveys on small samples sometimes. So, but the ob the problem is that we don't know. Here's the problem exactly. So, uh, we have uh, institutions that very often are independent, uh, and there are special bills that establish their existence. They deal with very secretive issues. So, for example, you know, uh, data on individual firms' production, profit, location, uh, individual employees. This is very secret stuff. Uh, employees very often have uh, security clearances. So we have this, uh, we don't know what's going on in there, and uh, the situation is even more awkward with central banks. On one hand, they actually uh, uh, generate a lot of numbers, like they tell you what's the money supply, credit creation, external accounts, sometimes inflation. On the other hand, they are conducting monetary policy. So they try to influence the public, for example, the news they get, uh, in, uh, the expectations. So here is a situation which the economists would call ripe for moral hazard. So maybe tweaking a little bit of the numbers to help you know, the exercise of the other leg. Uh, so, uh, and we have a problem also uh, with uh, how to democratize this process because for, uh, there's a very simple situation. We cannot actually vote on methodologies of gathering data and how this data is later transformed, uh, how is it released. Uh, that's a very, very big problem. Uh, we're not going to simply decide on that. And uh, the numbers that are produced by experts affect then millions of people. For example, um, the contracts, rent contracts uh, in uh, France uh, have a clause that uh, um, uh, increases the rent every year by a number released by the French statistical agencies about the average rent prices, right? So, so clearly we have experts on one side. It's very difficult to envisage how to control them democratically and then this affects our everyday lives. We had a study with um, uh, a colleague, Gilles Stoltz, uh, on uh, whether countries falsi uh, falsify their data strategically. And we studied the uh, balance of payments data from many, many countries. And uh, if this is accounting data, so if it would be generated by natural processes, so it would be and recorded uh, very well, then uh, the, this, the first digits of this data should adhere to a statistical process called the Benford distribution. So what we discovered, we grouped uh, countries according to uh, several characteristics, for example, whether they have, uh, what type of exchange rate regime they are, in what economic condition they are, and we found that vulnerable or distressed countries, for example, those that have negative current accounts, release data that have uh, non-Benford qualities. So basically the first digit don't follow the, this distribution, whereas for other countries, 
it, it, the, the data does. So basically, uh, here uh, we concluded that strat when countries have it's in their interest, they may, it's consistent with them faking the data. 